Crazy Hairstyle Wednesday. Here we go. Hey guys, um, to be honest, uh, I honestly kind of flunked thinking of, uh, like a topic for 7, 8, and 9. I already have something for 10, but yeah, I just had really much trouble, so if these last three videos were kind of lazy, I'm sorry. Um, but I got my third green Firebone hot dog, yay me, and my friend won't let me get his red, so yeah. So I unboxed one of them. He's actually really cool if you unbox him. Now if I were to get the trilogy, I would have kept him in the box. But yeah, I'm probably going to see if I can trade this in to GameStop. It's just that. And I don't know. I like, They'll have to take him. I'm also going to try to trade in a bark wheat since I have three of them. So yeah. Okay, so at number 10 in Spire's Adventure, we have a guy that not very many people still own, but yeah, he is a very breakable figure, as you see here, and then when I finally got another one, he was, I broke him accidentally, so I finally got another one, so I've had three boomers, and he is currently down there with the tech, which I'll show you that um, October 4th, which is the day before Trap Team for U.S., um, Australia has a couple hours to launch. Um, in UK still has 10 days, but still. But anyway, back on topic. Boomer is an amazing Skylander. Um, he's great for far range attacks, close range attacks, and if you're trying to run away from an enemy. So he can throw his dynamite for a long range attacks. He can pick up a bomb and leave it there for when you need to like run away to go get a pizza or something for your health. And then, if like you're in a crowd of enemies, he can use his metal fist and just slam down. He's a great Skylander all around. I had a hard time trying to put him on the list, but he did end up very low. Sorry, Striker Hero Camo, but at number nine we have Camo. Um, Camo, he seems to be like a favorite of a lot of people. I mean, somebody even has a YouTube channel named after him and has um, 1,600 subscribers. So good job. Um, yeah, uh, he's pretty cool. He has a sunburst attack, and then, sorry, and he also has this really cool watermelon attack where he goes underwater and, like, and then what makes it even cooler is in Swap Force, he has, like, this pumpkin graveyard, and, like, vines and pumpkins go all over the place and explode. It's really cool. Okay, so at number eight, we have another one of my favorites from SSA. We have Zap. Zap's a pretty cool Skylander. Um, you used to see him a lot around Swap Force because he'd be in that double pack with Hot Dog. But now trying to get him might be a little bit harder. He's not, I, I will, I'll assume he's not too expensive. But yeah, he's a pretty cool Skylander. Um, his little water jets, they can shoot little electrics and they'll go like that, or they come out of his mouth, it doesn't matter. He can also shoot water and slide across it and then electrify it, which is really cool. Up next, at number seven, is Ghost Roaster. Ghost Roaster is pretty cool. We still haven't seen a repose, and trust me, when I think it was Skylanders Master Eon, they posted a really cool picture um, of a dark food fight. But the way he like drew it out looked like a series two ghost roaster. I have a lot of ideas for what they could do, so Twice for Bob, just call me. Number six, she didn't quite make it to the top five list, but she's still definitely one you need to pick up. If you have swap force, you are fine. It is Stealth Elf. Stealth Elf is the stealthiest and cool Skylander ever. Um She has little sides. And sorry if I'm like sounding weird. I think I'm getting a cold. But she has little scythes and stuff, and um, she can go into stealth mode where you can only see her eye. And then her little, um, I don't know, ghosty wosty form walking around. And then when you upgrade her, she has this like uh, scarecrow and has saws and that spins around. And then she has acrobatic attack, which is really helpful, especially in Swap Force, because you can. Trap five! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, we, at number five, we have who I thought used to be my SSA character. And yeah, basically each year I get a new favorite Skylander. For Spire's Adventure, it was Dino Ring. For 
Giants, it was uh, Pop Fizz, then it went to Hot Dog, and then for Swap Force, it went to Scratch and Trap Shadow, and then for um, Trap Team, it went to Chopper, to Gear Shift. Basically, those would be like my top Sky. Those would be like my top whatever amount Skyline I said of all time. Ooh, a deal. Um, back on topic, Dino Ring, he's an amazing Skylander. Um, of course, he throws his boomerangs. They circle around him when you upgrade it, which makes it super helpful because it can slow down like bigger enemies that are trying to like gear go and bully you. And um, he also slams them down, and these obsidian fists come up. Um, and what's really cool is he's one of those Skylanders where if you hold down the attack, you can control where the boomerang goes as long as it doesn't hit a barrier. We have another Earth element. We have Bash. Um, I don't know why, but Series 2 Bash is very expensive. And I'm sure Series 1 Bash. Luckily, I got mine for Light Coordinator, Light Core Eruptor. And I'm sure someone else. I don't know. And my friends, they think their Skylanders are rare. But I just give them sucky Skylanders. But they don't really fall for it anymore. But yeah, anyway. Bash is a really cool Skylander. You can obviously bash people with his tail and his head. Um, my favorite is his Rocky Roll attack, where he goes into this rock formation, like a um, Sonic the Hedgehog, and he rolls around. And he also, I forget what else he does. I think he probably just has some mountain formation that everybody has. Number three, I couldn't choose one, and if I chose one for this, I couldn't put them at number four, because that means one of them would have to be leaved out, so everything was complicated. So I decided that since these are the guys that started the franchise, they're the best of the best, Spyro and Cinder at number three. Now, the reason why they're not number one is because I have better, I have my favorite Skylanders, not favorite game of Spyro, the dragon, but that, but they definitely do deserve to be at number three at least. Um, yeah. Cinder would definitely have to be at number three. She's still a really strong Skylander. She has like this black and white uh, electric volt thing. She can fly and she can go into ghost form. And when upgraded, she has a ghost buddy that will help you attack with her. And then Spyro, um, just go watch the Spry preview. It's just really cool. And I like how they did it this year. Okay, so basically these two were hard to choose from number two and number one. They are definitely two of the best in the series. They'd have to be in a top ten Skylanders list of all time. But at number two, we have Flame Slinger. Um, I thought it would be really cool if he would have came back for Swap Force, but I really like Bob of Varsity Raptor, and I really like Firebone Hot Dog. But, yeah, he's actually just really cool. He can shoot his flame arrows. He can shoot three, charge it up, do the, um fire run and then go in a circle and like it will make this big aurora of fire. What makes me mad though is there was no way for released for me. So I could never get fire regular firebone hot dog. But yeah. Number one. Definitely no arguing the best Skylander um would be series one Drobot. Drobot is an awesome Skylander. He is pretty powerful. He has little laser beams that shoot out of his eye. He can do this like super sore thing. And he can shoot these gears which found really helpful because they bounce off the walls. In series 2, don't even get me started. He can make this giant gear. So if you're like behind, like for example, if you get a double team with the Zook and you have his mushroom shield. And while he's shooting his pineapples, you're using that gear attack. And you're slicing all the enemies while they're getting blown up. That's best combo ever. So thank you guys for watching. You did get that video to six likes, so as I promised, um, I will be posting that after this uploads, so stay tuned. Um, so close to trap team, guys. Um, there's, there's this picture floating around on Instagram about tune into October 1st or something. But yeah, I think that's for Australia because they don't have to wait. They have to wait, like, probably. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Make sure to like and um, subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.